Hello everybody, 
Welcome to session four of the Japanese class. Session four, yokoso ne. So, hajimemasho. Let's go on and get. Oh, I didn't resign this. There we go. Let's go on and get started. So, welcome in, uh, lurkers. I see you. Welcome in. I hope you enjoy your time here for today's Japanese lesson. Uh, remember, this is. What should I call it? This is the Japanese two level of these lessons that I've been doing. If you've been following along since the beginning, um, you should be ready for these. <laughs> uh, but for those of you that are that are new, I do recommend you watch the YouTube videos of the previous lessons, specifically for the Japanese one. Uh, I'm not kicking you out. You're welcome to stay and follow along if you would like as well. Um, this is where I do my usual thing, where I say exclamation point Discord. There we go. Where you can join uh, my Discord. Uh, here you'll just find the usual rules and things. That, uh, but make sure you agree to the rules here by reacting with Jack Love. And then on Role Selector, make sure you access uh, to access the Japanese lessons. You click on Jack Sip here at the very bottom. And here you can find the resources. The Japanese one resources are right here. They include chapters one through six of our notes for the Genki textbook. Uh, excuse me. Um, but you can also find the YouTube playlist here at the very top. We'll take you to the YouTube playlist of all sessions. Session 1 all the way to session 28. Uh, this is currently session 4 of the Japanese 2. See, I labeled this JPN 1. J uh, we're currently on Japanese 2. Uh, currently, there is no YouTube playlist yet for Japanese 2. I will be making that very shortly, especially since we are almost done with our chapter 7 section. Wow, we're, we're going to, we're zooming by these pretty quickly. I, I am trying to do more, some more practice with you guys in regards to listening and writing. Speaking of practice, um, if you check on the Japanese 2 section, Japanese 2 resources, here's a list of things you should know before continu uh, continuing on with Japanese 2. We've gone over these for the past, uh, the, for our Japanese 1 section. Here are the 58, 53-ish kanji we've learned. Uh, as well as the chapter 7 notes that are available for you to view uh, through Google Documents. Um, there is practice there for you to use. Um, I see some people have already made some comments here. There were three practices so far using um, Teiru, uh, describing physical characteristics. Hey Foxes, welcome in! As well as describing two physical traits using adjectives. Nails just painted, can't type. It's okay, thanks for lurking. <laughs> Uh, remember, we did actually, this is one of the important things that I need you guys to remember, because remember, adjectives also have a te form. And for example, Yui-san, uh, she has two adjectives describing her, that she is cute and that she is kind. Sorry, I forgot to put this. Kawaii. And then for kind, yesashi. And then using te form, we can put these into one sentence. Such as, Yui-san ga kawaii kute, yesashi, yesashi desu. Or yui san ga yasashikute kawaii desu. Did you poop the keys with your snoot? That'd be quite a feat, foxes. You did? Oh, I'm like, it's like... That's it. <laughs> Alright, so shite kyo no... Uh, kyo no lesson wa counting people and verb stem plus ni iku. Uh, no koto desu. Uh, so let's go on and start with today's date. Kyo wa... What was that word you used, uh, Kitsuneko-san? Like, kyo wa nan nen, nan gatsu, nan nichi, nan yobi desu ka? <laughs> nan... Nan nen gen ka? Nan nen gen ka? Desu ka? Was that what it- was that what you said? <laughs> also, uh, I'm adjusting levels of the music, so please let me... Uh, nan gappi. Okay. Kyo wa nen gap... Kyo no nen gappi wa nan desu ka? What is today's date? I'm actually impressed with myself. Like, I'm in summer break, and normally I would have completely forgotten the date by now, or what day of the week it is, but I'm doing well. I know it, I know it's a Monday. Seems we have a smaller crowd today, so I'll go on and get started. Uh, Japanese. Uh, so, shite, 
7月梅雨ですねあ7月梅雨ごめん7月今日は Oh I know why some people are hesitant because it's the first 10 days、uh, Who remembers what is the fifth? In Japanese, how do we say the fifth day of the year? Or the year,、uh, the fifth day of the month. Hi, Itsuka desu yo? Itsuka. So, s t e Itsuka. And so, Ste, Kyo wa nan yobi desu ka? It's a su yobi jarima san. 今日は何曜日ですねですか<笑>フェティフィギュア1月5日いたけど<笑>違います間違った今日はやっぱり月曜日ですよ今日は月曜日です。月曜日。And I'm using all the kanji because it's kanji that we learned.、Uh, so, for a quick review, uh, uh, 早,くて早く復習しましょう。Let's quickly review. So, we talked about te form with adjectives,、uh, as well as describing、um, people. When you describe the physical characteristics,、um, we, we've been using this frame. Basically, instead of saying, like, Foxy san no ha. は小さいです。あ、は。ファクセさんの花は小さいです。You have to use が。Like ファクセさんの花が小さいです。You have to use that emphasis with particle が。When describing physical or even actually just describing people in general。Or describing how something is, their traits. So we use this image talking about the eyes being big or small. Uh, the mouth being big or small, and so forth. And then we talked about te form with our adjectives. Now, e adjectives, we remove that final e and replace it with kte. So, like, chi sai will turn to chi sakte. With the exception being for e, which is good, e will change to yokte instead. There are some adjectives that have a hidden e in them, like atama ga e, you say atama ga yokte, or kakko e. Be kakko yok, yokte, kakko yokte, kind of thing. Whereas non adjectives,、uh, as, as well as nouns plus des, are very simple. You just replace that final na with de, or replace des with just de as well.、Uh, something I mentioned、uh, you may use te form to combine the adjectives, but remember your final adjective will also、uh, declare the tense of a sentence. So we could say, like, neko ga shinsetsu de, chisakte, kawaikte, hayai des. The cat is kind,、um, small, and cute. But if we change that last adjective,、uh, it changes the tense. So the cat was kind, small, cute, and fast. But now it's probably dead or something. So, neko ga shinsetsu de, chisak de, kawaiku de, hayakatta desu. It was all those things. Konman wa asananiks kun? Yo koso. And don't forget, we do have that practice in the Japanese 2 section of Discord should you want to do this. Are you the cat? I am not the cat. I am still alive. <laughs>、uh, so today, we're gonna, I, I'm going to do the easy part first, which is counting people. And we kind of have done this already. Foxes gifting a tier one sub to Asanonix. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate that. Asanonix, I hope you enjoy those tiger emotes. I've learned that there are now follower emotes that I can add、uh, to my channel, so I, I should probably start putting them in or making them.、Uh, so, counting people in Japanese. So, just like any other counter, there exists. A way to count people in Japanese. The rule is generally simple, except for the first two counters. 
So, um, like I said, this is prob this is a very simple one. So what's our first, how do we count people? What is our counter that we use? I'm gonna center these. So we obviously have our number and yep. And then this one, but how is it pronounced in this case? Because we've learned this kanji as hito. We've also learned it as Jin, and it's still the same kanji, but in this case, what is it? This song's a bit louder than I thought it would be. How is, uh, it's the same kanji, but how do we read this I instead when we are counting people? It's, uh, if you recall, it's not Hito, it's not Jin. Foxes has got the good start. Hitori, futari, sannin. In fact, the answer is right there. In this case, the counter is nin. Or, I'll put this in the romanji. Nin. So, if there's a number and this kanji, the reading for it is going to be nin. If it's a country, it's probably going to be jin. If it's by itself, more than likely it's going to be hito. So, this is our, this is our counter. Sorry, I thought I heard something behind me. Uh, and I'm gonna highlight this because this is our counter. So when counting people, follow this order. Hold on, my dog is like squeaking. She got into like some doggy REM sleep and was like talking in her sleep. All right, so this is basically going to be the order when counting in Japanese, and it's pretty simple. I'm only going to go up to five. So, and Foxes has already put this in the chat, but when they're we're talking about one person or two people, one person, two people, these are the special ones because they have. They have a different way of saying these, and I'm going to highlight these in green. I'm going to make all these up. So for one person, it's going to be Hitori. Hitori. For two people, Futari. Three people, four people, five people. Now, Foxes put it in chat, so for this one, it's going to be Sanmin. If you recall, um, in Naruto, when they were taught, whenever they mentioned Jiraiya or Tsunade or even Orochimaru, they always called them the legendary Sanmin. If you directly translated that into English, you're just saying the legendary three people. That's not as cool sounding now, is it? The legendary three people. <gasps> so I think that's why they kept it like, oh, the legendary Sanmin. Although literally, that's what it means. It just means three people. Uh, in which case, what? what? <laughs> but that's basically what it means. Like the legendary three people. It's like, oh, if knowing this now, it's kind of boring. Sanmin. Uh, what would four people be? Uh, for this case, use Yon. Use Yon. What would four pe uh, if there were four people, what would that be? Well, obviously foxes with the kanji. <laughs> the whiskey sippy. I yon nin desu yo? Yon nin ko ka yon nin? Yappari yon nin desu ne. 
So Ionin. And then five people will be. And this is basically numbers review at this point. Hey, Gonin this. Yeah, I was thinking it, uh, it was Yonin also, but it's correct. Gonin. Uh, Yonin. Uh, but anyway, Gonin. There we go. I'm actually going to stop here because at this point, from numbers three and so forth, the rule is going to basically be the same. That includes 11. Juichi nin. Juni nin, I believe. Now, you do, I don't believe you say ju hitori. Ju futari. That, it, it, it doesn't work that way. So basically, this is how you count people in Japanese. So if I were to say, or practice, here, practice ichi. I mean, this is pretty simple. What would this be in English? In English, what would this mean? Or? There you go, 14. See, there are 14 people in this class. Very good. Simple as that. Technically for a special do you want to hide? I mean, I, I, I guess I could, since it's following a, a, its own. Four is just being four, basically. So I'll go and do that. It follows the rule, though, where you just add need, but instead of yon, it's just yon. That's actually just going to be it for in regards to counting people. It's not that it's really not that difficult. <laughs> uh, let's do practice number two. Kazuku. We haven't learned the kanji to this one yet, though. So I'm just going to leave it as Kazuku. Kazuku is one of our new uh, vocabulary words. Hmm. I'm going to be a little formal. Watashi no Kazuku. Kazuku. Oh my god. We haven't learned that kanji. Too much kanji. Ah, oh, I should have. Mm. All right, so this was I'm, I'm using two sentences for this one. Uh, no kazuku wa go ga Chichi to haha to oni san to imoto to watashi desu. What does this sentence mean in English? More kanji, hi. <laughs> I'm I'm very hesitant of using new kanji specifically because we haven't learned them. Um, and I apologize for my new members. Let me go on and do this, especially for students that are not yet too comfortable with the with the hiragana, katakana, and kanji. There's that. And then for this one, what does this mean?
There we go. Kazoku is one of our new vocabulary words. Kazoku. What does Kazoku mean? Kazoku. no Kazoku wa gonin ga imasu. If you read the sentence, you could probably get a hint as to what Kazoku is. Watashi no Kazoku wa gonin ga imasu. Ichi to haha to onisan to imoto to watashi desu. In fact, not exactly siblings. In fact, if you read the second if you read the second sentence, you'll probably understand what this word means. We're gonna. Uh, this is actually a, a skill we learned in when reading English called context clues. Watashi no kazuku wa gonin ga imasu. Chichi to haha to onisan to imoto to watashi desu. My family. There you go. Kazuku means family. Chichi to haha to inisan to imoto to watashi desu. Yes, thanks for specifying, because in Japanese they do specify the uh, if it's an older or younger sibling. So, my family has five people. They are my father, my mother, my older brother, my younger sister, and myself. Very good! <laughs> so, uh, let me go to the first part. Uh, this is basically how we're going to be using counting people because one of the goals is, uh, for this lesson was a family photo. If I go all the way to the top, actually. Uh, the, the theme is family picture. And using these vocabulary words and these grammar is to basically choose a family picture of yourself and describe it to someone. None, uh, I think you can. I think Shichi needs more appropriate though. Uh, so sentence one. Kono klasu wa juyon nin gakusei ga imasu. Kono klasu wa juyon nin gakusei ga imasu. And then our second example. Watashi no kazoku wa gonin ga imasu. Chichi to haha to onisan to imoto to watashi desu. Again, watashi no kazaku wa gonin ga imasu. Chichi to haha to onisan to imoto to watashi desu. But again, that's basically how we will be using uh, the numbers. Let's go on to our next grammar point, which is, um, how, how do I describe this? And this is describing the reason for going somewhere. I guess that's the best way I could put it, describing the reason for going somewhere. And this is basically going to be using Verb stem plus ni iku. Now, we talked about many forms in, in Japanese, and I want to go over this first. Forms of Japanese. And I'm actually, uh, nor my, my go-to Japanese verb has always been taberu, but in, for this case, I'm going to use nomu instead. In fact, no, 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 no. I'm, let, let me use one of our new verbs for this chapter. Uh, let's see. This is... Hmm. I'm gonna use utao to sing. Utao to sing. So let's review using without. 
A futuru? No, I, no, I can't say like, I'm going to go eat. I'm going to get fat to eat or something. It, it, it's kind of weird. So I'm going to use Utau instead. And this is where I'm going to need many tables. So here we'll put the form and then the conjugation. So our first one we're going to do is dictionary. Sometimes called a short form. So basically this would just be utau. Uh, then we're gonna have, um, this is called many things. Some people will call this long form. It could also be called mass form or neutral form because it's, it's, it's pretty new. It's, it's, it's just kind of there, but Utawa will turn into Utaimas. Oh my god, you're eating a table. <laughs> so we learn, and this is also Moss Form. Moss Form contains like the present positive, negative, and so forth. Then we have. Te form. And what is te form of Utau? What is te form of Utau? Hey, Utatte. Utatte. And then lastly, we're now going to have stem form. What is, uh, if you know it, what is the stem for Utau? Nope. <laughs> A good guess, very good guess. And th this is the reason why I use this verb, because it this actually shows how this works better than using top, a, a ru verb. Hai Utai. And this is the one we're going to be focusing on for today's lesson. So the stem form or utai for um, utau. So the next thing is, how do you find the stem form? This is actually really simple once you know how to do this. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys the steps. First, look at the mas form of the verb. So in this example, we have utau, so utaimas. And our second step, remove mas. And that will give you utai or utai. And that's basic, and that will be your stem form. This will give you the verb stem. So if I highlight moss here, you'll see that there's the there's a stem. And that's how you get the stem form of a verb. So real quick practice. What are the stems for these verbs? I can't, if I can actually type correctly. Um 
Asononix, thank you for gifting foxes a tier one sub. Asononix, uh, I hope you enjoy those tiger emotes. Alright, so for practice, what are the verb stems? So I'm gonna give you the verbs. Our first one. Haberu. Nomu. Aeru. What else? We've learned shopping already, like to buy, so kau and oyogu. Or to swim. What are the stems for these verbs? We haven't learned the verb for these, uh, the kanji for these two. So taburu will be tabe. Nomu will be what? Nomi, that is correct. What about kaeru? This is kind of a weird one to use with this, uh, with this tense, but still. Yep, kaeri. Aru will be kai. Oyogu be oyogi. Um, any questions on how to get the stem form for these for verbs? I, I think these three. Well, basically, it's really just two, but these three steps are pretty are pretty simple if you know how to conjugate into a, a mas form, uh, to long form, mas form, or neutral form. We will be using dictionary or short form very soon. <laughs> I think it's actually next. Let me double check if that's a chapter eight thing. Yes, we actually the next chapter is actually going to be short form. Why do these real and fake rue verbs exist? They they just do. Um, real quick, I'm gonna use a restroom real quick because I actually had a lot to drink, so I'll be right back real quick, guys. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I never remember which is which, Ichidan or Godan. Uh, when you see that in G Show, I have to type them out and see which it's what which it says. It's, it gets to the point where like, you you need the kanji. Without the kanji, it's like. Ugh. Uh, which one? We could check for Kairu real quick if Jack doesn't know. Like Ichidan Godan? That one? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, you mean like the, the fake the fake root. Yeah, I I I don't know. Oh, I, I, I've, I've actually just been told it's just ru or u, and we and and then use the words real or fake. Like even in Japanese class, I use that, which was kind of awkward. So using the verb stem, we can now indicate a reason we go we or someone is going someplace. So, for example, 
let's say I want to say Mary is going to the store to buy um, fruit. Uh, I'm gonna change store to supermarket. I'm gonna use. I'm trying to use words that we uh, we have. I guess that that would make sense. Ichidan is a ru and a godan is an u. So let's try to build this sentence now. We're gonna start with Mary san. Mary san wa. Where is she going? Where is Mary going in this sentence? Mary san wa. To the supermarkets. Hi, supa. Oh my gosh. Supa ni. Yes, because we're going someplace. There's direction. We're going to use particle ni. Supa ni. And this is where we're going to use the verb stem. What is she going to do? Why are we going to the supermarket? What's she trying to do? What are we trying to do? at the supermarket. Once we're there, what does Mary want to do? She wants to... to what? She wants to buy fruit. What is fruit in Japanese, by the way? What is fruit in Japanese? Hey, kudamono. So, we're gonna say, Mary-san wa supa ni Actually, I'm thinking about it. I may need Kitsu for this one. No, it's correct. Atashi wa kudamono desu. Kitsu naiko is a fruit. Yappari, mina san, kono jougyo de, kono klasu wa. Uh, anyway, Mary san wa super ni kuda kudamono o kudamono o. And this is where we're gonna use our verb stem for to buy. What is our verb stem for to buy? Uh, kudamono o kaerimas. Kaeru means to return. We're returning the fruit. Please don't return fruit to the store, by the way. <laughs> Different return meaning though. Uh, kudamono o. Mary san wa supa ni kudamono o. What's our verb to buy? Because we're now going to start using the verb stem. Hey, kai ni ikimasu. Oh, kai. We haven't learned the kanji for kai just yet. Kai ni ikimasu. But we did learn the kanji for this one. So, kai ni ikimasu. So, here is where we're using our verb stem with ni iku to describe the reason someone is someone or something is going someplace. Mary is going to the supermarket so that she can buy fruit. That's why she's going. She's going to buy fruit. Aw, uh, that's okay, Jesse. Thanks for hopping by, though. So, for this one. Mary san wa. Supa ni kudamono o kai ni ikimasu. And of course, you can change the tense to this as well. If we change the ikimasu ikimashita, uh, it, it would change Mary, uh, Mary went to the store to buy fruit. And then, of course, let's try another example. Thank you. Autocorrect. I'm going to the restaurant to eat sushi with friends. How would we make this sentence? In fact, here, let me highlight the kaini because we're, this is where we're using this grammar point. Hey, I'm going to the restaurant to eat sumo, uh, sushi with friends. Let's start with 
talking about ourselves. Where are we going in the first part of the sentence? Not exactly. Because the first part of the sentence, we're talking about ourselves. Uh, we can do it that way. So we could say, Watashi wa tomodachi to restaurant ni sushi o tabe for our stem tabe ni ikimasu. That works. Watashi wa tomodachi to restaurant ni sushi o tabe ni ikimasu. I'm going to the restaurant to eat sushi with friends. Uh there like either way works. This is a very flexible sentence. I would I would have started with just myself. Watashi wa restaurant rest Hold on, let me do this in here, kanji. Watashi wa restaurant ni tomodachi to Sushi. Oh my god. Sushi o Like, there are many ways that you could have said this. Tasha, restaurant ni tomodachi to sushi o tabeni ikimasu. But the thing is that they, they all end with the same thing. They are total opposite ends in English. You could see it as like, what do you do first? And then why are you doing it? Kind of thing. Like, where are you going? I'm going here. Why am I going here? This is the reason why I'm going there. Both would both actually do work. But the important thing is we still end with tabe ni ikimasu. Uh, DJ, thank you for the hydrate. I'll do that in a moment. Despite the, the order... Oh, I didn't use the kanji for top it. We're still using this. Tabe ni ikimasu. The verb stem plus ni iku. Watashi wa restaurant ni tomodachi to sushi o tabe ni ikimasu. Oh yeah, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Mizu, hi, Mizu datta. It was uh, Mizu o nonda. I drank water. This this actually went by faster than I thought it was going to. Let's do some practice now. Uh, I gave you two examples. Let's try practice. Oh, practice. Or range, range. So try to make the this sentence into uh, Japanese. Let's see. Um, this was actually kind of tricky. Let's see if you guys can do it. Range, let's do it. Renshu, renshu. Practice. Renshu. My friend went to the coffee shop to buy a cup. My friend went to the coffee shop to buy a cup. Pay attention to the tense in this sentence because I did change it.
Oh, okay. Then shoot. There we go. Uh, first of all, what is coffee shop in Japanese? What is a coffee shop? In fact, because I'm using coffee, sh this let's consider this a Western style coffee shop. Which word would we use for this? Hey, cafe. So we just use cafe. What is cup? This is actually another one that you're just using katakana. What is cup? Hey, just cup. Is it cup or is it cup? I think it's cup or cup. 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 It's one of those weird things that turns from cold from cup, uh, from, like cup or cup. I'm gonna look it up because it also sounds like cop. Uh, the other word for coffee shop would be kisaten. Kisaten. It is ka. It is ka. Okay, good. So my friend went to the coffee shop to buy a cup. Tomodachi wa kisata ni cup. Uh, that would be correct. So, so we could say no, but you don't need, necessarily need to. So tomodachi, we don't know the kanji yet. Tomodachi wa cafe ni kappu o kai ni ikimashita. Since we're using past tense. I know it's so weird without the kanji, but we haven't learned it yet, and I don't. I really don't want to use it until until I've taught it to you guys. So tomodachi wa cafe ni cup o kai ni ikimashita. You wanted to use the other one to, to help you remember. That's actually a good way of, uh, of trying to do it. I would rather read a string of never-ending hiragana than roma, ro, uh, romaji. Da. So that is correct. Ro, is it romaji? Romaji. I mean, I agree. Because like, if I see it, it, it starts looking funky in with all these. So for this. For this sentence, watashi, we could say watashi no for my friend. Usually for best friend, you could say yujin. Anyway, uh, tomodachi wa cafe ni kappu o kai ni ikimashita. Tomodachi wa cafe ni kappu o kai ni ikimashita. Tomodachi wa cafe ni kappu o kai ni ikimashita. Yujin, hi, Yujin. It even uses the first uh, kanji for friend, tomodachi. But this is usually for like uh, your close friends. Uh, let's try this one. Boxesan is going to Japan to study Japanese. Oh, you want me to say it, read it one more time or to do another example? So 
So Foxy-san is going to Japan to study Japanese. How would we build this sentence? Using Foxes. And you can- I, I'm just putting your name in Romanji for now. Foxes son, how would we how would we continue this? Foxes son, what Nihon ni? One second, guys. So kopu is more archaic. I like that word. Okay. So fuck. Uh, so we have foxesan wa nihon ni. Uh, and then you put foxesan wa nihon e nihon go benkyou shi ni ikimash uh, itte mas. Um, not itte mas in this case. And I'll I'll have to explain that kind of a bit. So Foxesan Foxesan wa Nihon ni Nihon go and we can use the kanji for this because we learned it this chapter Nihon go o benkyo shi ni ikimasu Um you use ittemas and this Ittemas, kittemas, they're very strange. Um, the teiru form normally, in fact, I'll go back to the notes at the very beginning. Uh, there are three ways that we use teiru in Japanese. Uh, the first one was verbs that are, that are some activities that are lasting, for, uh, that are currently happening. This is our present progressive in English. Um, verbs that describe changes or verbs that describe continuous states. We did not touch upon part three on this chapter. Um, iku and kuru basically are used for the part three continuous states. Um, if you were saying, um, fox, foxesan wa nihon e nihongo benkyo shi ni itteimasu, it means you're already in Japan studying. That's what it means if you use itemas. It means you are currently in Japan studying at that point. You are you are you are there. You exist there at that point. It doesn't mean you're going to. It just means you're there. And that's where um, it's one of those stra uh, one of those verbs that uses teiru very differently from the others. Like actively on the plane, you could say like I'm. In that case, in Japanese, you say like I am riding the plane, kind of thing. But um, since we are using future tense, and technically there is no future tense in Japan in Japanese, you just use uh long for regular long form for it. Uh, Foxy-san is going to Japan to study Japanese. If I said Foxy-san is in Japan studying Japanese, um, then yes. Um, we haven't learned the kanji for bank. I love- I actually did not know that Google Translate- uh, not Google- uh, Google Docs would do this, but this is kind of nice. I, I actually really like this. But uh, since we have not learned the kanji yet, I, I'm not going to use it. Um, let's do one final one. Oh, hold on, sorry.
I thought I heard my cat meow. <laughs> uh, but just like before, we're using the the ni ikimasu for these. Actually, this whole thing is the verb. Like, Benkyo is one I use so much in kanji. I, I hate seeing it in hiragana. And then our final practice for today before we go on to the next thing, or maybe even to raid out at that point. Uh, let's see, how, how should I do this one? Hmm. Yeah, it's exactly the same for me. It's actually a very difficult kanji, but after seeing it so much, it's... I kind of I kind of like it. Hmm. I may be going back a few for a few chapters for different verbs. I'm trying to elaborate on the verbs some more. Okay, I got one. Um All right, there. There you go. My English. Yeah, cool, like sioi for strong. It, it literally means when you to do a uh, to put strong effort. When you do something and put strong effort into it, you are studying. All right, for this one, Mary is going to a friend's house to borrow a textbook. I want to see if you remember the verb to borrow, because that was a chapter seven, uh, chapter six one, for those of you that were with us. Um, let's see. So we're going to start with Mary san which is kind of weird because we say Mary, but in Japanese, Mary. Sorry. Mary san wa. Uh, first of all, what is to borrow in Japanese? What is to borrow? No. <laughs> uh, to that's more like Toru is to take. Like to take a picture or to take a test. Uh, what is to borrow? Hey, Kariru. Kariru. Now, here's a question Is it a ru verb or is it an u verb? I'm going to my friend's house to steal her stuff. <laughs> yes, it is a ru verb. How do you do is ru? To help you guys. Um, what is textbook? What is textbook? Yeah, it's, you hear Mary-san, but for some reason, for the name, it's Meari, or Mary, Mary, Meari, Meari-san. mary I, I don't know how that works. Hon would be normal book, but we're being specific this time. What is textbook? What is a textbook? I'm gonna double check that we learned this one. I, I believe we did. Yes, we did. It's chapter six again. Did anybody find textbook? <laughs> I 
I got it for you guys then. Uh, textbook. Kyokushou. Kyokushou. I need to remember. Kyokushou. No. Kyokushou? I think that's correct. Kyokushou. Kyokushou. See, this is another example where the kanji is more helpful. Uh, but textbook. Kyokushou. So Mari Mary is going to a friend's house to borrow a textbook. How would we write this sentence? Kyokushou. Hey, Mary. Mary. If you say it like if you say it many times, you 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 kind of understand. Mary. 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 Mary san wa. So now that we know our words, how would we build this? Mary is going to a friend's house to borrow a textbook. Start with, where are we going? Then finish with, why are we going there? So I've highlighted the first part. Where are we going first? So we got that. I see both of you guys are what Mary san wa tomodachi no ie ni. So we have that. Mary san wa tomodachi no ie ni. Now what are we doing there? We're going there to borrow a textbook. Kyokushou. So me uh Mary san wa tomodachi no ie ni kyokushou. Close, close, close. Watch uh careful with the verb though. Remember, our verb is karidu and it is a ru verb. If you're having trouble, remember to find the stem. Look at the mas form of the verb. Kariru turns to karimas. Remove that mas, and that will give you your stem. Kari ni ikimasu. Hai, that is it. That is correct. Kari ni ikimasu. Mary san wa tomodachi no ie ni kyokasho o kari ni. Here, Kariru. So for this sentence, um, I'll say it a few times so you guys can try to repeat it on your own. Mary san wa omodachi no ie ni kyokasho o kari ni ikimasu. Mary san wa tomodachi no ie ni kyokushou wo kari ni ikimasu. Hai, foxes. Mary san wa tomodachi no ie ni kyokushou wo kari ni ikimasu. And then a little bit more faster. Mary san wa tomodachi no ie ni kyokushou wo kari ni ikimasu. And again, we're using the verb stem plus ni iku for this. And that will conclude 
the grammar that we will learn for chapter seven. This is the end of chapter seven. Yay! Congrats, guys. We've made it through chapter seven's grammar. Um, I am going to extend the lesson a bit, uh, a bit more, though. So the next time we meet uh, on Wednesday, um, we're actually going to try a listening and a reading practice using what we've learned from chapter seven. Um, in fact, I'm going to go to YouTube real quick and see if I can find it. Hi, arimasu. So, like, for example, oh, I'm trying to stop the music. Well, listen to this, for example, because there are two dialogues. Um, I'll I'll play this shortly, real quick. Let me stop the comfy lofi so that you can hear the example. And then, like I said, I'm only gonna play this once. Oh, my windows keep getting. They're obviously reading the script, by the way. I like saying Luffy. So that's an example of what we're going to listen and try to translate next class. There's also a reading, and it's actually kind of long. Um, I will be putting the reading here if you guys would like to head, uh, head, uh, head start with it. Yeah, I like saying, I like saying lofi instead of lo-fi. <laughs> Um, but that's going to be it for today's lesson, guys. Thank you guys for coming in. I hope you've learned how to use this. I think our raid message should be this. Um, <laughs> Loaf is correct. Um, Kitsu-san, have you started? Let me, let me check. Have you started yours already? Has these lessons started? Just about to hit the button. Okay, so while she's setting up, let's try this. Let's try to build this sentence. So we, we, we may have to use some romaji, romaji for this. So we're going to say, I or we have come to Kitsu Neko's stream to study Japanese. How would we say this sentence? And I'm actually going to start this with Itsu Neko Itsu Neko san San no Streamu ni How do we finish this? Itsu Neko san no streamu ni What are we going to do in this stream? はい、でも何を勉強しに行きますか何を勉強しに行きますかはい、日本語、そして日本語を勉強しに行きます。So this will be our raid message for today. So here's our raid message, and then add whatever heart emotes that you guys have uh, to this, like this. So Kizuneko san, ah, uh, Kizuneko san no streamu ni nihongo o benkyou shi ni And this will be our raid message. Thank you guys for coming in again. Uh, remember, our next Japanese lesson will be on Wednesday. I will probably try to play more Scarlet Nexus in between that as well. So I hope you guys do come in. There we go. Uh, thanks again. I'll catch everybody later. Bye-bye.